you learn a new language, it's easy to get comfortable using words and grammar that aren't quite correct. Let's take a look at some common mistakes uh, that happen a lot in writing. First, we'll look at the mistakes, and then we'll learn how to correct the, the mistakes so we can remember them in the future. Here's an example of an email that has a few common mistakes. Let's look at the first one. Can you see the mistake? This is a very common one that has to do with singular and plural forms. The plural form of person is people. The plural form of person is people. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Can you see the mistake here? It has to do with the meaning of the word. Assistance looks like the Spanish word asistencia, but it actually means help. So, this is a false friend. The word we need here is attendance. Okay, let's keep going. Here we have an incorrect verb preposition pairing. Do you see it? It should be thinking about. The verb think is paired with about. You think about something. Think about. Okay, the next one is a very common mistake. Do you know what it is? Here, we need the pronoun it before the verb is. So we can write it is or simply it's. Do you see the word but? That means we're starting a new clause, and every clause must have a subject, even if you're referring back to something earlier in your message, like stadium in this case. Just remember, never let your verb stand alone. Okay, let's move on. What's the mistake here? In this case, we need to replace for with to. Remember that infinitives are formed with to plus the base form of the verb, in this case have. So we would write to have. If you still want to use for, you'll have to add ing to the verb have. So you'll get for having. Just remember that you can't pair for with the base form of the verb. Okay, here's the last mistake in this email. Can you see it? We're missing some words. It should be, inform me of your decision. The verb inform requires a direct object, in this case, me, and the preposition of, inform me of. So, here is the corrected email. We have just a few more mistakes to look at, so here's the last email. This one starts with, I am agree. Can you see the mistake? All we need to do here is remove am. Agree is a verb, so we simply write, I agree. Let's keep going. What's the mistake here? This is a vocabulary issue. Considerated should be replaced by considered, because considerated isn't actually a word. Okay, now look at this one for a moment. Any ideas here? Here, we need to use the preposition on instead of in. So it will be focus on, because the verb focus pairs with the preposition on. Focus on. Okay, let's keep going. What's the mistake here? In English, it's not necessary to give adjectives plural markers, like this case with others. We simply need to write other things without the S on other. And here's the last one. Any ideas? We're missing a word that comes after such. It should be such as. 
The word such goes with as. Here's the full corrected email. We've just looked at some common mistakes in written English. The next time you write something in English, remember to check for these mistakes. Using these words and phrases correctly will greatly improve the quality of your writing and you will seem more professional to your readers.